Hi there, I'm Amira Hall. I'm here to help you raise your vibration, tune into your intuition, and manifest a life you love. And I wanna thank all my new subscribers and my longtime friends too. It means so much to me that you're here with me. I am so excited today because I have a channeled message for you from my Arcturian guides. I was getting out of bed this morning and they asked me to turn on my dictaphone and they started coming through with an, not only an energy update, what's been happening, but also a, um, an activation and an alignment for you. So I'm really excited to hear. Please leave your comments on what you notice and how you experience this. So um, I, I just feel like so much is bubbling up and it's, this is a pretty exciting time. So if you need help, if you need a private session or you'd like to tune into some of my other meditations, the link below is where you can access all of that. So until the next video update, I send you many blessings of abundance and joy for a magical month of April. Dear ones, we welcome you today to this gathering of souls and for information that you've been seeking but perhaps scattered thoughts and scattered efforts and random projects keep popping up and blocking you from receiving the information that you're ready to behold. We want to acknowledge your efforts and your striving to make things better and smoother in your life and on your path. And we recognize it's not easy in this third dimension reality that you humans are participating in this project of expanding light and awakening consciousness here on your earth plane. And this is, this is a, a massive project and undertaking that your individual souls are embarking on. Individually, you have your path and your projects and your, your lessons to learn. But as a collective, you're expanding acknowledging the connection between yourselves and growing this light to an exponential radiance that is seen far beyond your awareness and making an impact that it goes well beyond your collective consciousness. This is what we want to acknowledge today and bring forward to your awareness that much is going on, much has been going on, and you're stepping into more of the same in terms of confusion and uncertainty of where you're going without having a plan or the old sense of setting goals and making things happen don't work in the same format. We want to address this today with you that much of what you are anticipating, um, setting goals and having things appear like they did in the past perhaps and having a business that is productive or successful in terms of the way you measured in, in your previous experiences or in terms of what others experience and how they measure their success. We want to express and extend this this gratitude for endeavors that sometimes you stretch yourself beyond what you thought you could do or perhaps in a direction that you never thought was possible. And so much of what needs to occur right now is for you to lay down what we call and you refer to as expectations your expectations of how things should be, your judgments and, and self degradation that perhaps you're not doing as much as you can be doing. There's so much energy bombarding your physical being at this time that much time you may notice yourself wandering or not sure what you're focusing on or feeling lost in terms of where are you going anyway. So we see many of you scratching your heads and wonder, what am I doing? I'm not sure if I'm making any progress or making any steps in the, in the way I would like to. And some of you others are seeing some great progress and some great surprises that perhaps you didn't think, again, expect to occur or beyond your expectations. So again, there is this word that we, we, we bring the light to expectations right now are bubbling up and also disintegrating at the very same time. So how do you maneuver in this changing landscape of energies and, and strategies and 
uncertainties. There's just, again, the judgment that you have on where you should be, where others should be, or how others should be treating you or treating each other. This is a vast separation that continues to uh, stretch between individuals, keeping you separated from yourselves and from each other. So we, we implore and encourage you to allow your expectations to dissolve or for you to put them on the back burner. Or maybe you could put them out by the trash and wait for the trash man to collect them. Because this is a time period where there is so much change, you can't know what is around the corner. And there's a perfect reason for that. It's not for you to know. The point is, practice being in the present. Practice being in a grounded, centered place in the moment of where you can feel your physical body, know and perceive the birds chirping around you, or the sounds of the cars driving past your your place, or the, the, the cacophony of noises in your surrounding, and be able to just separate yourself from that. Recognize that you are not that. And we allow this space and this time, as this energy is pouring in in this moment, to assist you in just releasing some energies that have keeping you resistant to being in the present, being in a present time vibration for the manifestation of what's your next step on your path, having that clarity, having that certainty, and having that trust within yourself that just allows you to flow, to flow, opening to receive this blessing, this radiant light that's aligning your chakras, aligning those energy centers that are the structure of your spiritual anatomy, allowing yourself to receive this ever-expanding presence to support you. And again, opening and allowing yourself to expand and receive ever more right here, right now. And we acknowledge you for your beautiful strength, your courage, your trust, Notice the vibrations. Perhaps you can sense a ripple or tingles. Maybe feel light. And perhaps you even feel separate. As the energies that no longer serve you are dissolving and flowing away from your precious being. Your physical temple that you incarnated at this time. And allow yourself to adore and to love this temple, this physical body of yours, this vehicle that is carrying your spirit throughout this lifetime experience. As many of you resent or, or reject your physical body at this time, just allow that rejection and that any physical pain that may be stuck or disappointments that you've had with this physical vehicle, just allow that to dissolve and flow away. As this is raising your vibration, as we raise our vibration, we allow ourselves to connect and exchange with these powerful frequencies of abundance and instant manifestation. So there's more and more um, reminder for you to pay attention to the moment and where you're at and bringing your awareness to this experience will assist you in attracting and magnetically drawing to you those desires that you have and want and need. It is without effort as you come into alignment, open to receive allowing that smile to 
appear on your face and in your heart. Allow your belly to receive this abundant flow of force that's magnetic, empowering, beautiful, and wise. And with this, we leave you for having this experience of yourself and connection to the universe. And we give you many blessings.